What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. Question of the day, we're doing life game fitness. Should you be striving for weight loss? The answer to that is you should be striving for fat loss. And fat loss is going to be, a uh, weight loss is going to be a product of fat loss. But there's a big difference between weight loss and fat loss. You know, fat is a volume rangy organism. It takes up a lot of space. A pound of fat compared to a pound of muscle. That fat is going to take up almost three times more space than that muscle. And it doesn't do anything as beneficial for you as that muscle. Muscle helps you stay young. It helps reduce degenerative disorders. It helps your immune system stay functioning better. It helps your hormone levels. All fat does is soak up carbohydrate, soak up sodium, soak up water, makes you lethargic, ages you, and tears your joints to pieces, whereas muscles are gonna save all that. So that's one reason why you'd rather just lose fat versus muscle. Some other reason is that your muscles tend to just regenerate things. They help you do better in life. They make you more productive. And when you're holding on to all that extra fat, a lot of times all you want to do is lay around. Let's talk about some of the things that happen. When you're overweight and you start losing weight, you've got all these people online that know how to say the catchy advertisement phrases. Oh, lose 30 pounds in one week. Some of them say that. Lose 25 pounds in a month. Some of them say that. Lose six pounds in a week. Some of them say that. What happens is, guys, that that you're losing is not fat. That is, you're losing water. The most fat that an average healthy person is going to lose in a week is about two pounds. The rest of it is just water. And what happens is a lot of us, when we're overweight, after we break through that cycle where we've lost that initial five or six pounds, then the scale slows down because you are starting to replace some of that fat with muscle because you're on a good diet, you're on a good plan. You get discouraged, but you can't get discouraged. Remember I said your best friend in this whole thing is time. It takes time to change your body composition. It takes time to lose that fat. And you want to be consistent on your plan in doing that. And you want to be consistent at making sure fat is what you're losing and not just weight. Because I want you to think about this. Have you ever seen that person that's really skinny, but they're flabby? You don't want to be that. That person, just because they might fit into a doctor's BMI, doesn't mean that they're healthy. Nor having a whole lot of body fat means you're healthy either. So let's just not get that twisted. But you don't want to be skinny fat. You want to be as fit and optimal as possible. And some ways you can gauge if you're doing the right thing is if you notice your body composition is changing. If you notice you're losing inches from the body, um, your energy is going to start to go up. All these things means that you are doing the right thing to lose fat and not just weight. In a nutshell, Weight is on the regimen, but fat loss is your number one goal, and that's not going to be a linear process. You're going to have weeks where you're not going to lose anything because you're building muscle. You probably did lose some fat, but muscle weighs more than fat, and you got to keep that in mind. So guys, on this journey, I want you to stay motivated, and if you don't have someone helping you and you need an online coach, I'm here for you. Hit me up at www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. Get some online coaching. Get some accountability. Someone that's going to be here to hold you down. I've been there, done that. I was 350, 199 now, trying to reach even more fitness goals. And we're going to do it this year as I want to help as many people as possible make their fitness goals come true. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life gang. Worry about your fat loss, not necessarily the weight loss. But by saying that, I'm not saying don't be eating donuts every other day talking about you not losing weight because that ain't helpful either. Stick into your plan, stick into your diet, stick into your training. And if the scale don't move, just know that your body is changing composition. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.